Hi guys, it's me, the Big B, and welcome back to another video. Now today, both myself and Javier have decided to show off a little bit of the UI of Geminus Box. Now I've done some video on my tablet um, and getting some close-ups and, and explained to you guys a little bit about how it works. We've kept things very simple, but I'm going to pop a screenshot here, which is a little bit higher resolution. And there you go, guys. There is the UI of Geminus Box. Now, we've kept things very similar, very familiar, because that's one thing people asked for when I was doing Verbus Box, and then I did Parovolus and things. They liked the fact that it was very familiar. They didn't have to relearn anything and mess around. And people seemed to like that, so again, that's kind of what we stuck with. We've gone for a brush metal design, as you can see, and just changed things up a little bit, but we've kept it very, very simple to use. No gimmicks, no fancy buttons all over the damn place. So you then basically go do your session or your investigation, if you're out on location, you pick your sweep rate, you can click the auto button, I'll show in the video what that does, and you press go. That is it. And away you go. You're getting, as if you watched my last video, we're getting replies in real time, which is where we were pushing. That's what we wanted. With, with Geminus Box, we're trying to push that envelope of getting real-time replies, and we are, but obviously record your sessions, guys, always record your sessions, you'd be amazing what else pops up when you're doing a session, you could miss important DVPs, and even though we're getting real-time replies, I'm still catching stuff that I didn't kind of hear at the time, because there's a, there's a lot of information to take in, but we are getting more consistent real-time replies. So there you go guys, enjoy the video that's coming up, it just gives a quick explanation. There is Geminus Box. A few people have been asking about release date, we're still testing. We want to make sure we're, we don't want to rush these things out, we're not just pumping these things out, we're taking a lot of time and care into getting everything right. It's nearly there guys, it's nearly there. We just want to do a bit more testing, I'm going to do a few more test videos for you guys, to, again to show you how consistent and how, how sort of well it's kind of working. Without further ado, here comes the video, guys. Enjoy. And welcome to your first look at uh, Geminus Box, the UI. I'm just going to go down it and explain it a little bit. We've gone for a, a brushed metal design this time. Uh, one of the things people were asking for, like when I did Verbus Box and things, is don't change things up too much because they got used to how it worked, where the buttons were, things like that. So I've kept a similar UI type of theme going but just change things up just enough to make it a little bit different um we've got new custom buttons there for the the plus and minus sweep to match with the the overall design the brush metal and obviously your power button you've got your your display there but this time the the, the speed and um, readout isn't there i'll show you where that's at at the minute that's just basically for cosmetics just for look now those are your three LEDs that will that do flash um, as each bank fires. Now each bank, there's kind of three banks, but each bank has a possibility of two audio banks within each bank, if you know what I mean. So you've kind of got six banks, if you like. We've put the compass back in. Now if your device has a magnetic compass, that obviously will move as your, your device moves. You can see there it's moving as I move the thing. Obviously, if you're carrying your device around, that's going to jump around all over. The idea is put it down on a flat surface. Your magnetic compass can detect electromagnetic fields. And if anything comes near the device, just like a K2 will go off and light up, that compass can be manipulated by that. And that needle, if it starts jumping around erratically, that just shows that there's maybe something around the device. Simple as that. We've got the, um, and that is red, I know it looks orange in here, but trust me, it's red, uh, with a chrome surround. There's your millisecond sweep rate, down there, and we've got an auto button, that is it. Now obviously what the auto button does, is if you press that, the plus and minus buttons will disappear. And then that, I'll just do a quick test, show you, that that, will then randomly sweep the milliseconds, it will, it will just pick a random one each time, and it just makes things, it, it, it mixes things up, keeps things really random if that's the way you want to go. See the LEDs flashing there. So if that's the way you want to go, and if you stop it, hit the random bu auto button again, the plus and minus has come back. And basically there they're just like standard, you can press them and you can alter the sweep rate to what you want. Um, it's set at 300 to start with, some people like it a bit slower, some people like it faster, but that's it, we've tried to keep it as simple 
to use as possible just like little UI things there nice little I can get the damn thing in focus 3d kind of graphics and plaque just just to make it look like a physical piece of kit try to give it a nice 3d kind of aesthetic so it looks like it's almost popping out the screen a little bit but there we are that's the UI Um I don't I don't agree with putting like lots of gimmicky things in we, we didn't want to put a lot of shit in there we could have put buttons to do all sorts we originally had a design so for a flashlight turns the device's flashlight on but again a lot of people use these things on the tablets rather than the phones and it then just starts adding more and more buttons we just wanted it as simple as possible and that's basically where we are guys plus and minus for the sweep rate press the on button that's it if you want to go random press the auto button and then you'll get totally random sweep and it's never the same twice so and just your compass that is it so there you go guys um it's been given as you've seen some of the videos the results we've been getting have been crazy with this so far it's still not 100 percent finished i've got a few little tweaks to do and um, me and javier has got a lot more testing to do we want to make sure that as we said we have consistent reliable results which that's what we've been getting so far and um, but we just want to make 100 percent sure guys so there we are Geminis box.